Hello and welcome. In today's class, we are going to take up generic collection for a comparer T class. Now, this comparer class provides a base class for implementations of I comparer T generic interface and uh, where T is the any generic class and it also uh, implements public abstract class comparer T. So, heading straight to the code. Now, we have got Visual Studio open. So, click on File, New, Project, we'll build a console application, console application, uh, .NET Framework, that's fine. It's already selected. So, I will name this uh, as Collections Demo. Collections demo. And in this example, I will um, derive a class table length first from the comparer T class. Now, this comparer compares two objects of type table and it sorts them first by length and then by height and then by width. Now, this box. This table class implements the I comparable T interface to control the default comparison between the two table objects. This default implementation sorts first by height, then by length, and then by width. Now, this example shows the difference between the two comparisons by sorting a list of table objects first by using the table length first comparer and then by using the default comparer. So, here we go. Now, First of all, this uh, I have already built this console application. So, uh, we have already an entry point at static word main. I will use it later and I will start building. Just follow me. I will, within this class program, I have got public class table which again implements I comparable I comparable and then table this is the type and then we have this public constructor public table and I give arguments as int h for height, l for length and width. Okay. And then before I do anything, I will define three public properties like this. So, writing prop and tabbing, you will create a default int public property and you can rename it. So, I will, my first property is going to be height and I can make it private set. So, it could be set from the scope of this class only. And similarly, I will just copy. paste and then paste and change this to length and width. Right and then I could just fill the constructor with this dot height equals h this dot length equals L and this dot width equals W. Okay. And then if you look at this I comparable, 
it is telling me defines program table doesn't implement interface member okay so it automatically generates the implement interface okay so it automatically creates the interface member that i need to implement on this class because i am deriving from this i comparable so int i comparable compared to table other okay so here it actually i don't need this part public i can make it public int compare to and i'll have to write the code over here it automatically generated the stub for me to write and then okay that's fine i'll let me complete and you see if you look into the definition of this i comparable interface if you go to the definition so it comes over here it has got a integer returning um, method which is known as compared to and it takes a, a generic type t as a parameter right so if you look at the summary it compares the current instance with another object of the same type and returns an integer that indicates whether the current instance precedes follows or occurs in the same position in the sort order as the other object okay and other is an object to compare with this instance so coming back to the program i'll just close this i'll implement this method so if this dot height dot so this intelligence exposes all that is available here so compared to now if you yeah left open the curly brace it will give um, the circular brace it will give you the two overloads so int int dot compared to int value it takes int value or the second one is object value so i will go for the first one so other this is the other table that's height i need to compare with the present object so other dot height okay and it compares if it is not equal to 0 then do this return this dot height dot compare to compare to what compare to other dot height so I'll just copy from here to save time other dot height and semicolon similarly else if just keep proper indenting else if and i just keep the stubs and then fill it later and else if and then final else so i have three else the uh, two else ifs because first time it is compared with height and then it will be compared with length and then it will be compared with width so if i'll just copy this part and then this part and then make the necessary changes because i am a 
Sometimes I'm lazy, I just try to avoid minimum coding. Uh, this dot length and then this dot length and what will be here instead of five it will be length and then again it will be length right then semicolon and similarly I think it's already on the clipboard return sorry it's at the wrong place you should be here and if this dot what yes you guess correctly this dot width what is the remaining that is the width dot compared to then other dot what width correct not equal to zero that's how the comparison works if it is equal to zero, then it is the same. Uh, it it is equal, and then finally, this is also this will be this dot width dot compared to this dot width dot compared to other dot width. That's it. Now, else return zero because I have to return any an integer and I am not returning anything but zero. If none of these three branches um, are true, these conditions, then it returns zero. And that's all for today. But before leaving, I have just built control shift B. Let's start it. Yeah, we will succeed it. So, in the next lecture, I will take up from here and build the other necessary chunks for this class to work. Thanks for watching.